Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can take your model's original scanned head and convert it into a fully functional CC3 Plus character head so it can take full advantage of Reillusion's facial animation and lip syncing tools. Generally, when you are creating a high quality character, a detailed scan of the model's head is obtained in order to provide enhanced surface details for the final model. Just like with a full body scanned model, the head also needs to be retopologized using the CC base mesh. The model on the screen now has already been retopologized using the CC base mesh, and this is the character from the previous step where we completed the step for the body already. Now we're going to focus on the head, so let's start off by exporting and aligning the meshes. First, let's use face tools to send the character's head to ZBrush using the default settings. In ZBrush, we can hide the unnecessary subtools except for our CC base skin head, ensuring it's selected. In this project, we have the head scanned model, which is called Kevin Blend Shapes Clean, and the CC head model, which is called CC Base Skin Head. Let's enter the Kevin Blend Shapes Clean tool and click on the Append button to import our CC Base Skin Head. The CC Base Skin Head model will initially be positioned higher up as it is part of the full body mesh, so I'll go ahead and align the position of the Kevin Blend Shapes Clean model with the CC Base Skin Head model. I'll proceed to remove the CC Base Skinhead subtool, then switch to the CC Base Skinhead tool and import the Kevin Blend Shapes Clean model using the same append function as before. Once that's all aligned and set up, let's move on to the wrapping. Even though Kevin Blend Shape Clean's lowest subdivision level topology is the same as CC Base Skinhead, in principle, you should be able to directly replace it. However, this isn't the best workflow because when we open the layers, we can see that CC Base Skinhead has a number of them, which correspond to all the expressions in the Face Tools plugin. This means that CC Base Skinhead contains all of the Reillusion expression data by default, so we don't want to directly replace it. We can also see that the total face count of our two meshes is different, so we need to add an additional subdivision level to CC Base Skinhead. However, we can still see the total count of CC Base Skinhead is 17.003 million, while Kevin Blend Shapes Clean is 16.786 million. This is because the CC Base has a tear duct, whereas the Scanned Kevin mesh does not. Therefore, we need to create a new layer for CC Base Skinhead and proceed to hide the tear duct. The best way to do this is to enable Polygroup as the tear duct has a separate polygroup. Hold Control Shift and left click to isolate the tear duct, then Control and left click to mask all. After that, hold Control Shift and left click on an empty space to exit the isolate mode, then Control and left click on an empty space to invert the mask. Then you can click Hide PT under Visibility to hide the unmasked area which is now the tear duct. After that, the total poly count for both meshes should be the same. Now you can make sure to select Kevin Blend Shapes Clean subtool and control left click on the history bar to ensure it displays in white. Let's continue by selecting CC Base Skin Head and switching to the Morph Brush. Then completely brushing over the entire model. This will gradually cause the CC Base Skinhead mesh to conform to the same shape as Kevin Blend Shapes Clean. After I'm satisfied with the shape change, I just need to adjust the position of the tear duct, which I'll do once again by pressing Control Shift and left clicking on an empty space to display the hidden parts. However, the tear ducts are blocked by the larger meshes, so we need to isolate and invert the selection by holding Shift Control and double clicking on a larger polygroup, after which we can spot the tear ducts. To mask the tear ducts, I'll hold Control and left click them, then hold Control and left click on an empty area to once again invert the mask, which allows us to move the tear duct into the correct position. Now with the new layer enabled, we can click on the Update button to update the model into Character Creator. We don't need to update expressions or wrinkles here, but want to make sure that base mesh and normal details are selected, and we only need the head updated under Facial Parts. 
In Character Creator, we can minimize our base color channel and set Material Diffuse to a gray color to see the normal and mesh shape adjustments. Finally, we need to adjust the positions of the eyes, eyelashes, tongue, and teeth back in ZBrush. Follow the selection procedures outlined earlier and get everything in the right position. Once they're all positioned correctly, update once more, this time selecting the teeth, eyes, and tongue. Lastly, let's import the texture of the scanned head to our diffuse channel. In this case, we'll still need to refine it by sending it to an image editing software to remove unnecessary information like the black markers here, and other properties like the skin tone. That's it for this part 2 of our tutorial series on converting your scanned models to fully functional CC3 Plus characters. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how you can import scanned facial expression data into the Reillusion Facial Expression System. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.